It's time for Food, Food Adventure, Adventure Program, Program for, for Awesome People, people. the Elephant Fish Edition. Like it's really confusing to tell people it's an elephant fish. Well, it's not an actual it's actually elephant quite fish. Thin. This is the biggest fishy you can get here in Korea. We're gonna have a giant trough that they usually feed horses with, but we're gonna eat out of it as humans. Na -na 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 -na. We got some pretty baller side dishes here. We got fermented crab. This is fermented in like a soy sauce, and so it's actually technically raw. We got some fresh seaweed, and I can't tell if that is... Mm. Crunchy con. This is my style. Hi, little baby matches. But these ones look like they're spicy. They have like some uh, pepper flakes on them, which is nice with rice. It's kind of oh, salty yeah. on its own. My favorite of kimchi is uh, spicy cucumber kimchi. And here's something that I've never had as a side dish in Korea. They gave little pieces of donkas, which is like a pork schnitzel, and omegi duck, which is a special kind of duck that's very famous in Jeju. And this is for dessert. This is pretty intense. I think omegi duck sounds like a super villain. Oh, 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 oh. why we are doing this is because this is what Korean broadcasting is usually like whenever they have food they usually like yell at it and really really loud in restaurants so in the spirit of Korean broadcasting we're gonna yell the same way have here is a galchi jorim. The fish that we're getting here is very famous in Jeju. It's a cutlass fish and they're really expensive as well in Jeju. Jorim is a style of cooking that's when they take a fish, they simmer it in like a very little amount of broth and it becomes really thick and saucy and they cook the fish in here. And my favorite way to eat fish in Korea. Here we got some squash, we got some thin mushrooms, we got some onions on the side here. Here's a gigantic fish that goes all the way from here to there. Radish, right? here. These are the best part of it all. I love the radishes here. Ew. Potatoes here as well. And this is great. She chopped up all this little duck right here. This is going to be sweet and spicy, kind of like yang yum chicken if you've ever had that before. It's, it's got that both sweet and spicy taste to it. This is phenomenal. And Martina's already going at the crab. What? What? It's actually still like in one. I'm like unearthing. How do you like a fossil. grab this? Is this all one piece? Where's yeah. the back of it? Where does this begin and where does it end? What oh, this is fish. so tender. Look at how soft these pieces are. Oh, that is phenomenal. This is so tender. See, the problem you get usually with grilled fish is that sometimes it's too overcooked and too crispy. This is all soft, juicy. Mm. It's a really great tasting oh, fish. Oh yeah. The flavor of the fish is just oh. like, you know some fishes taste sweet and some bases, fishes taste like really solid fishy. Mm -hmm. This is more on the sweet end of a fish. Yeah. You know? Oh my god. This fish. I love this fish. This is one of my favorite Korean meals. I forgot about how good jorim is. Okay, so see how this comes fully boned in? And you've got to like remove the bones. Fully boned in. Oh, Fully boned yeah. Oh, yeah. When we first came to Korea, it was like impossible for us to eat something like this because we were terrified that we would choke to death on bones. I mean, bone in fish is just soft and more tender and fresh. Mm. While like a lot of Western style fish just ends up being dried up. So apparently, also in France, they're like, why would you debone the fish? So why we, would you speak been, like that? <laughs> we've been doing it wrong. How is it? I, I really want to try a piece. Turkey. Oh, my God. Is that, that good? Is some share great with me. Share with me. Can you share fresh. with me? Oh yeah. Did they just make this here? I it think is. they they it's didn't buy this. It's absolutely fresh. Oh man. 
You know nice? Oh, oh, it's perfect. It's so perfect! So one of the things you might notice about the background behind us is that I don't think anybody under the age of 55 is here in this restaurant apart from us. I'm not sure if this is an old people food, but this place is bumping with senior citizens. We are the youngest people here. We had to wait to get a seat. I know. It's nuts. Have you tried the pumpkin yet? No. It's crazy. Feed me. Mm, I my pumpkin. Lovingly. Zimbabwe doo doo wah. My left hand. <laughs> oh, is that nice? The actual pumpkin. Mm. It's infused with the fish from here. Oh man, this is perfect. Susie, no, you dropped the handle. Can't take Susie anywhere. She's just so irresponsible sometimes. I think we did a pretty good job. This is all that's left. There's still some meat on, but not much left. Ours I'm is pretty at much it. just the tail end here. Uh -huh. And we have the fish head, which doesn't have a lot of meat on it. Yeah, got a fish head here as well. And that's it, this is all empty. We four of us polished off two of these fish. This was supposed to be a five-person meal. But here at Eatra Kimchi, that. we like to eat. <laughs> we don't go around. I can't believe what you wanted to say. So that's it for this week's food adventure program. I don't know what to say. I'm so full, I'm ready to sleep right here in the middle of the street. Mm, there's a park around the corner. Oh my god. Now we just talked about the kind of fish that's kind of stewy, but if you want to see what the gooey fish, like the fried one is, you can actually click over here and we have a video that we did on that. I feel like it's a really old video where we looked quite different. Very different. I swear it's still us. So subscribe if you want to see some more delicious food videos as well as some special videos out of Jeju. Yeah, if you haven't seen our hooked wedgie video, you're missing out, man. Black pig of Jeju. You haven't eaten this good. I'll carry you back, okay? Carry me. Let's go. Why are you so little? <laughs> carry me. Carry me.